Animal control officers in Josephine County are seeing a direct link between missing dogs and evidence of an illegal dog fighting operation in Southern Oregon. Tonight, a woman whose dog is missing has a warning for other pet owners. She's a Catahoula uh, leopard dog. She kind of looks like a lab. Um, most people wouldn't know what she is if they saw her. Two-year-old Pie has been missing since early October. Her worried owner, Jackie Arzadon, knows she didn't run away. We checked our surveillance cameras where we saw that as we left, the gate stays open for 45 seconds or so. She wandered out the gate and within a minute or so of her wandering out the gate, we saw headlights. Arzadon says a utility like truck stopped near the driveway for about a minute and Pi was gone. It wasn't until this week that she connected the dots on Facebook. Somebody was saying something about a dog being, you know, possibly picked up by an um, animal shelter officer. Uh, just letting people know in their area to keep their dogs, you know, locked up and safe. That Josephine County Animal Control Officer David Pitts. We see more and more lost dog posters, and they all seem to be bully breeds, German Shepherds, healers, labs. Pitts says some of those missing dogs have been found dead up and down Interstate 5 in Josephine County. But the animals aren't just being taken from houses and yards. The other day I was in a parking lot at a well-known store and caught some people trying to load some dogs up and ended up getting one it was a big yellow lab. That lab named Finley was rescued by Pitts. The dog's collar was found buried in the dirt a short distance away. Because Finley had a chip, he was reunited with his owners. But Pitts says it could have and usually ends up being a much different outcome. They'll throw two dogs in the back of a, the camper shell or else in a trunk of a car and they'll drive up I-5, so it's a portable dog fighting ring. They'll pull over, they'll take a picture of the dog that's alive and the one that's dead, and they'll text it back to their friends, is what I was told, and they make the bet pay. And then what they do is they come up here and they dispose of the dogs. Pitts currently has more than 10 open cases related to these illegal rings, a problem that he says is just now becoming public. As for Arzadon and her family, they're fearing the worst, but still hoping for the best. We don't know what happened to her. Like, we have to be hopeful that someone took her that wants to love her, you know. Sorry, but if she took a different fate, it's heartbreaking. Police say there are ways to keep your dog safe. Officers suggest always taking your pet with you if you're in public. At home, keep them locked inside a safe enclosure away from the street or inside your house.